Alright, so I think Pumpo usually spends most of the first part of most of this battle trying to take your hammers and then hit you with them. So yeah. After, um well at least that's how this battle turned out. But um after, if he has or if he just decides to use something else, the only other thing he'll do is throw these um just throw a bunch of stuff at you. Um, including poison mushrooms, coins, regular mushrooms, and those some weird pink bomb thing. But the the um hammer will come back to you within like ten turns or something like that. So yeah. And well, one th good thing about having a hammer stolen is that it's really easy to focus on who is who is gonna attack. Lame, yes I know, but it still works. So let's finish Pumpo off. Damn. You're never gonna steal my hammer. Oh, my hammer did that. Okay, make that like 3 to 5 turns or something then. Damn. Why won't you die? Oh, there you go. Almost done with this thing. No, but I'm not giving up, sorry. I can't do Popo's voice. I just can. Okay, so let's get out of here. Okay, so past the time, um, the next beam star is in the next screen over from where you went use the thunder orb things to get to the beam beam airport. So let's go there now. And of course I completely forgot that. Oh yeah, I forgot that over here is a couple of blocks. And there is the bean star locked up in the cage. I really don't understand why you just can't break the cage with the bros attack or something and just steal it. I impossible, no way am I working with explosive colors like those. Literally explosive. Urgh, water, drink too much water. Honestly, what is one to do with such riffraff? Oh, welcome, welcome! I am called Harho, a genius designer, and I am also called Blee. Blee, whatever. Yes, we're one and the same. Did you know? Did you know? Wow, I bet you have a boyfriend. Yes, yes, whatever. I might correct you and assume you're interested in this. This is enough job, I'll pay, pay you, your pay will be... A bean like thing that cascaded down from the heavens. ta -da. Oh yeah! What? Guess some sort of complaint? Mm, mm, mm. That's better. Now then. And she goes on to explain how to do this.
I just love how they use the um, basic remix of the Mario music to just for tutorials. Anything will do, just give me a red color. Okay. Yellow and with this checker pattern. And that was easy. Uh, purple with a polka dot flare. Yay, now you have to mix colors. Which can be really obnoxious with the different speeds these stupid design fly things fly up. Wow, I have such great vocabulary. Dang. Come on. Oh, come on! Yeah, this is this part can just be really obnoxious. And there we go. Brown but with a star. Alright. Oops. I was thinking that was really easy, but of course I screw it up. Yeah, I'm just awesome that way. And I screw it up again. There we go. Yeah, screw you design bots. This means I must pay you with the beam like thing is promised. Go next door and collect your pay. See, here's the beam like thing I promised you. Take it with you. And that makes the fourth piece of the bean star. Back to Beam Bean Castle. Um, oh yeah, um, another thing is that if you go back to, um, Har Hall, like, right before you go to the Bowser's Castle, I think it was, or after you get the message to go to Joke Sand, um, you can do it, a bunch of designs, you have, uh, she has to open up the shop, and you have to make a bunch of more shirts for her, because it, she's gonna run out of stock. And, after that, you get the Har Hall's pants, which will significantly increase your HP points, but decrease your defense points by pretty much the same amount, so I don't really see much point in wearing it. Oh well, comment, rate, subscribe guys, see you later.